King of the Fall. Hello everyone. This particular game is, uh, is supposed to be very popular online. Uh, it's one of, one of Android's supposedly better games, but uh, I look at the graphics and I look at the gameplay and I have to wonder um, exactly what were they trying to accomplish because it 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 looks it looks somewhat good. Um, the cars are are nice, but there's not much customization. Hang on, let me read this. Hi there, racer. It's so great to see that despite any unexpected maintenance being done on the racetrack, you're still here and ready to fight. Here, take this gift and we'll see you on the track. Next. Okay, so um, I didn't even know the game was experiencing some maintenance. Uh, Darkness Rises, one of the games I just got through playing, does that from time to time. I got 75, whatever that is. It's a form of in-game currency. Um, look at all these yellow explanation points down here at the bottom center screen. Let's find out what they're about. But uh, back to what I was saying, the cars, some of them look really good. But the gameplay is kind of choppy. Um, you all let me know how my streams look. Um, one of my plans is to get some better equipment so I can do some do some better streaming and uh, I have the Chevy Camaro I played this game a few times before and I got very frustrated and I deleted um, the game unlike Darkness Rises Darkness Rises will remember you as long as you log in under the same account and I do that on most of my games and this particular game does not remember anything as soon as you delete it no matter how much money you've spent everything's gone you just lost all your stuff and no matter how angry you get and i get angry because um like the old need for speed games like underground if anybody remembers need for speed underground this game plays just like that. The more you progress, instead of the game becoming naturally harder in these modern times with the level of gameplay and sophisticated graphics they have, they throw your cars around the track. It's like someone's literally, it's like a virtual hand that's literally throwing your cars into the wall and other cars. And the, uh, the computer cars are allowed to do whatever they want to do and they can literally harm you and your vehicle in the game and you just uh you're just pissed off about it that's it and i i don't like that i i i think um i really get the i'm really under the impression that we're getting played when they do stuff like that when it's this fictitious cash grab of, you know, give me money if you want to continue to play or you want to progress any further with in-game purchases. And uh, you're not really getting what you're expecting. Um, I, I try to spend as little as possible when, uh, as far as money is concerned on a game that I'm very interested in or have some sort of interest and it's really no way around that. They they want to force you to do things that you don't really want to do. And um, sometimes you get the rewards you don't expect. And sometimes you don't. Like I just got a hundred thousand dollar in game coin here to make some purchases, and that that's nice. But. Uh, I still feel like I'm being forced to do something sometimes that I just 
don't want to do. And um, one of the things I don't want to do is spend money on the game. I, I don't like doing that. If it's free, let it be free. If I have to pay to play, then, uh, you know, that's on the manufacturer. Make that clear. But don't lead me on with um, crappy in-game purchases and then I, 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 you know. And there's times I spent a little bit of money and I still got upset because I didn't get what I think I was supposed to get based on what they were leading me to believe that I was going to acquire, so to speak. So now I got over two hundred thousand dollars. That's uh, uh, in game currency. That's pretty good. I wish I had two hundred thousand dollars right now. Oh, guys, if I had two hundred thousand dollars right now, I would really impress you with the computer purchase I would make. You all would just love me to death because I would, I would just be showing you pretty graphics and wonderful games all the live long day. That's right, Jack. All to live long the day, day, day. Okay, let's get let's get into a race. Um, we're level one. Let's go to my career and look at my Camaro. Now that says LT. I think that's their top of the line deal for Chevy. But uh, let's ride. I I I. Uh, kind of I kind of am excited about the idea of okay again this is another one of the games I was trying to stream from the beginning but the streaming mechanism I was using on Android was not working properly or I was not working it properly and I still don't know if I'm working it properly but right now it's working just fine I just put up three videos and I'm so excited about that it's it's very late I I I got up to go to the bathroom at four in the morning, like most most guys do, and then I I started messing around on my phone, and next thing you know, I'm I'm streaming videos left and right. So enjoy. Let's let's start a new uh, season of racing, and uh, this is the first race of a new the third season of Asphalt Nine Legends. I I, I got over a hundred and sixty three thousand in-game dollars let's go that was surprising and of course we're going to use the chevy camaro and we're going to do some upgrades very expensive upgrades my i won't change the color so let's actually go in and do some upgrades i'm uh, oh whoa you mean to tell me i can't upgrade the car anymore that's weird i didn't even know i had used all the upgrades Click on some stuff and see what's really happening here. It looks like we used up all the upgrades. And if I click inventory is locked. So let's just go race. Um, again, in the comments below, tell me what you guys think of the gameplay. What it looks like to you. Um, set it on your favorite settings according to your phone's resolution and graphics. Because I think the stream starts it off choppy, so you can set it yourself on your end. Um, of course it does. So on my end, I got the highest graphic settings available. But the output is going to be minimalistic so that you can set it according to what your phone or device can handle. So here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to race now. Uh... Recommended. Uh, finish in position three or better. Uh, uh, yards drifted 109. So I got to drift 109 yards, and I got to I got to get uh, second place or better, which would mean I would win if I really wanted to show off. So let's let's get on. I moved down to first place. You see, this is another thing I don't like because. You see how that car spent around? He was hoping to hit the car next to him so he can knock me off the road or something. And I, this is a short race, I think. I'm not sure, but right here, out there. Yeah, there it is, the finish line. So I just, I got it, but uh, I think that's cheating. 
when you uh, when you race that dirty. Uh, that's that's kind of cheating. That's that's either cheating or next close to cheating. You guys tell me. What do you think? But uh, I, I I tried to run a clean race and I won. This guy spins right here trying to kill me. Because in this game, if someone spins on you like that and hits your car, they can destroy it. You know what? I'm going to play dirty like that. I don't care. You want to play dirty? Let's play dirty. All right, guys? Uh, let's get him. Let's get him. All right, here we go. Um, are very vicious in this game. And if you go multiplayer, oh, my God. Multiplayer cars are assassins on four wheels. These people um, make a kill, uh, are out to make a kill for the fun of it. They're like planters and, and rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes will bite you just because they know they can. And panthers will kill you and they're not hungry. They just know they can kill you. And they'll do it. So uh, I gotta make it to the, uh, the next checkpoint. It looks like I just might make it, and I did. So let's uh, let's, let's do it up. Oh, that was a nice jump. I'm gonna try to do a trick here. That didn't work. Okay, I get the nicest going right here. Make it to the next checkpoint. All right, the next jump, I'm gonna try to spin the car and jump. How many of you think I could do it? Huh? Here we go. Here we go. Oh no, no, no. That's the finish line. Too late. Uh, what was my time? Nine seconds. Is that good? Nine. Oh, one minute was my target time, but I. I got less than that, looks like. Oh well. My eyes. I need glasses. Okay, that. And it, guys, let me know in the comment section if you want to see uh, me do a replay, an instant replay, and let you guys watch it. Because um, I'm going to try to do some really cool stuff, even though I'll be cheating, trying to cheat with the, 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 the computer, because they, could, they cheat, especially if... I, 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 I'm going to show you guys some multiplayer races today. So, um, you, you know, it, those of you who play this game, you know how this goes. It, it's all kinds of stuff you can do with Android um, games. They're very uh, vulnerable to manipulation and cheat codes and, and cheat bots and all kind of stuff. And it's just unreasonable how fast some of the multiplayer cars can drive. If I can't drive that fast, how are you doing? You're obviously cheating. And uh, I, I, I don't appreciate that, but you know, who says cheaters never win? That's, that's so untrue in this game. So let's, let's get them guys. Uh, Working that, that drift, aren't I? Look at that. Like I said, my eyesight is really bad, so if you see any delays in my movement where you think I should have probably done something a little bit quicker, it's because I can hardly see and I need glasses and I'm straining my eyes and um, I, I just can't afford to buy glasses right now. And I'm I'm hesitant on certain things I click on because I'm not able to see too well. So bear with me. Other than other than that, my reaction time would be unbelievable. I'm I'm I'm, I'm a sharp fella. I'm quick. Yes, I am. All right, I'm gonna double that money. I played this game before. This is so stupid. They could have did a lot better with this. They really could have done a lot better with this. But, uh, okay, I made 12 grand just now. So let's do another race. 
let's race the crap out of that Camaro LT and uh, we'll pick another car and beef it up as much as we can as it. Open up a new, we just unlocked a new season. I'm not even finished with season three. And I've already unlocked another season. Isn't that just wonderful? Well, let's 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 see what we got here. Okay, I'm gonna do the Camaro again. Anybody want to see that uh, that uh, what do they call that car? The little uh, blue in here. What is this? The uh, Lancer, Mitsubishi Lancer. I can't play on this track because I have to. I have to do some upgrades to let the car be drivable. It's not fit for that race. I even have, I don't have the blueprints for the Nissan 370Z Nissimo. I've got the um, BMW uh, Z4 LCI E89 class. Again, this one requires some updates to be drivable, but let's do the Camaro for right now. Um... But anyway, um, all we have to do is win this race. So let's do it. So when I hesitate when I'm talking to guys like that, I'm reading what's on the screen and then I'm trying to talk to you at the same time. No, I cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. Isn't it obvious? Okay. Gotta keep with the jump. Now, so that jump they made, um, they're trying to, they usually land their car on top of your car and just obliterate your car with you in it. So that's just wow. That, that, if you're in, if that was multiplayer, um, I don't know how the, the other people do it, but they aim for your car when they jump that high. Anybody left on the ground is going to die. But, uh, yeah, let's have some fun. I'm, I'm going to, when they cheat, I'm going to cheat. Just for you guys. Just to show you I, I'm not I'm not somebody to play with in this game. I, I can be mean, too. That's right. I can, I can take the MC and mess your car up. Oh my god, this game disturbs me. He's walking in the air. I mean, really? I deleted that game from my computer so quickly of the with the with the mech robots. It was pathetic. Come on guys, let me know in the comment section if you want me to do instant replays, cause this uh this is gonna be and they want me to click on the store here just to see what's in it. Um, I'm not going to give you guys any money so you can forget it. Here are a few blueprints for the Chevy Camaro. Tap on it to get the, these cards. What, am I supposed to give you $10,000? No, it's free. Okay, I'll take that. Congratulations, you have the Chevy Camaro, or should I just keep racing it like it is? Or, or do you think they were trying to warn me before you get into another race, upgrade your car? Max rank increased to 1238. Unlocked upgrades up to stage eight. 6280 garage value, new car visuals available. Star up, congratulations, you have improved your car. Woohoo! All right, what are we gonna do here, guys? Let's see. The Legend Store automatically refreshes every few hours. Tap to continue. Okay. All right. You can also do a manual refresh a certain number of times. To do it now for free. Tap to continue. I can do a manual. What? What? what what's going on here? I'm tapping the screen. And I'm getting no response. Oh, they want me to hit free. I got you. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, let's see here. Do I leave the shop and go back to the next race? I want that uh, that uh, Chrysler Challenger, the SRT8. I want that car. And I can't wait to see the Bugatti Veyron. That's my favorite car. If I can get 10,000 uh, subscribers this weekend and 10,000 likes, I will play this game throughout the weekend just for you guys. Tell your friends, tell your, your friends and your, your family uh, that likes this game like you do. If you want to see me race it throughout the weekend, I want to get 10,000 likes this weekend. I want to get 10,000, not only 10,000 likes, I want to get 10,000 subscribers. Can I do that with you guys? Let's see. Okay, stunts three. Stunt six, finish race. Wow. I got to do six stunts total? Or do I got to do six stunts in addition to the three stunts? That's uh, that's a bit much, don't you think? Let me do some upgrades. Because I think y'all trying to hustle me. So, either way, you're going to get my money. I can't keep any in-game currency because it's so expensive. $9,000 tires. Isn't that something, people? That's just too much. $12,000 for nitrous. As you can tell, I've never uh, really had the pleasure of running out buying a, a, a car that I uh, uh, like so much and putting some real money into it. $18,000. Man, that's a new car. Are you crazy? Thank God that's over with. Oh, boy. Oh man, look what happened to my money. I had $160,000. And now I got $38,000 in game currency. Oh, they've unlocked some painting and upgrade custom colors. Really? Mallet. Um, uh, let's see, rims. Oh. What are we going to do with the rims? Shall we do black? I think we should do black. Yeah, buddy. With them red Brembo brakes in there like that, that's tight. I like that. Yes, let's, let's, I'm going to leave that just like that. Woo, look at that. You can't spin the car around. Oh, yes, you can. Look at that. Look at that, people. How would you like to see that driving through your block right now? Early this morning, music blasting. And it's uh, currently 9 o'clock in the morning. And all that music blasting in your ears, trunk rattling. And uh, playing nothing but hip hop. Just classics. And uh, woo. I would drop the suspension on this very low and the tires would be much wider than that. And I would get rid of those stock rims and I would put some really nice custom wheels on there. How come there's no custom wheels in this game? That's disturbing to me. Yeah. They really need to put some custom rims in this game. And thus they're already there because I haven't played the game all the way through. Like I said before, I got very frustrated with this game and pre in the past and I would just delete it from my phone. But for the sake of the videos, the live stream, I'm going to continue to play the game this time. No matter how angry I get. So um, if I get angry... You know, just bear with me, guys, because I tend to top an attitude when I don't like something I see in the game. And uh, I usually have some very colorful words, so if you have children, cover their ears when that happens.
By the way, my games are all restrict age restricted. You have to be 18 years or older to see any of my games because I I do curse and some of the games that I have have sexually suggestive content and the level of violence is just not the kids. And as far as COPPA and YouTube is concerned, I agree with that much. But um, as far as not being able to monetize my videos and make money like the rest of them or the rest of them, I'm, I'm disturbed by that deeply. Why would you try to stop me from monetizing my videos just because they're age restricted? I've done what you've asked me to do. And I'm in agreement with it. It should be done. Because uh, we should not. But that's just me. You, you can do your own parenting. Um, oh, wow. I hit that wall pretty hard. But I still won. I got first place. And I, I just didn't do six stunts. So uh, at some point, I'm going to have... Now, the one of the things I like about this, if you finish the race in a win, um, a lot of six uh, uh, fuel refills per car. So uh, I have to race this car again just so I can do six stunts. I don't have to win the race. I don't have to struggle to win or anything like that. I just got to do six stunts. So let's do that just to appease the machine. You all tell me which stunts I want. I should do. I'm. I'm. Should I spin the car around six times, or should I try to jump over one of those uh, silly little ramps? Uh, what do you think? Either way, I'm gonna do something. Okay, here we go. That's one spin. Let's take this jump. Mr. Trolley did another spin. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing some drifting. Give me something to jump on. Or jump over. There we go. There we go. Now, if I land on top of his car, I would destroy it right now. Let's kill. Let's, let's destroy some cop cars. I almost said kill. That's probably... Not a good choice of words. I get a sneaky feeling the kids will still be watching um, age-restricted videos. Uh, I don't know how they'll do it, but I've seen YouTube videos that tell you how to watch restricted videos even though they're age-restricted. And I think that's pretty weird. Uh, that they're able to bypass the the uh, the uh, Google algorithm and do that if that's true because you know that's just not cool guys hopefully I got six uh, did I get it? yes alright so we're done here but we wasted fuel on racing again on this particular car. Now, do I clear the screen and show you guys a replay, the instant replay? Okay, let's do that. Uh, how do I? How do I? I forget. Oh, what just happened? Here? Oh, it went away. Oh, I've unlocked another season. I was trying to show you guys the the instant replay, and I messed up. I hit the wrong button. But, uh, okay, what did I just win here? Chapter 1, Card Pack. Someone explain Card Pack to me. Like I said, I've played this game in, I played this game in the past and I've deleted it in the past because of frustration. Um, so, these Card Packs, what do they actually do for you? Do they give you the blueprints in the Card Packs or... Is this just another ploy to keep you playing the game and hoping you'll get the car you want eventually? <laughs> this is destroying mine. 
This is not going the way I wanted it to. There it is. All I have to wait do is win the race, remember? Nitrous. Spin. If anybody was close to me, you would have got seriously hurt. And I win the race. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. When I first started my streams, I tried to do some background music with some of my favorite hip hop tracks that I enjoy very much. And I got a copyright complaint. Google, uh, YouTube assured me it wasn't a copyright claim, that it was a copyright complaint. So I literally um, have to turn the game music, the in-game music off. And let alone the music that I play on my phone because I can turn the sound down in-game or the music down rather. And then I can play music from my phone and YouTube doesn't like that. That's right. They don't like that. Now... Another thing they don't like is when in-game music plays uh, a mainstream music that is considered copyright infringement. They complain about that, too. Uh, once again, that was the second complaint. They assured me it wasn't a copyright claim against me. It was just a complaint. But it was in-game music. I had nothing to do with that. So I turned this, the music off in all my games just to be on the safe side. Uh, because I don't want any copyright claims against me. Uh, for Google thinking I'm purposely... Um, um, you know, uh, disregarding what they... They say I can and can't do in my videos. So I turn my music off in my game. So that's why you just hear me talking and hear the sound effects from the game. So let's move on to the next race. What do we got? Okay. As you'll see, as you progress in this game, the 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 uh, each race gets more... Uh, complicated with its request they they want you to do so many stunts they want you to do certain amounts of uh, of other things and then you got to win the race at the same time and I think that's a bit much to be playing from my phone I've got four out of six refills ready uh, left so that's not too bad but uh, yeah Let's let's take a break for a second and go to multiplayer. I want you guys to see how vicious multiplayer can be. I I you can do same thing. Well, in, when you're in events like you see here, that's uh, computer cars. But if you come over here to multiplayer, oh boy. You can get hurt so bad, you and your car, you think you died for real. Because the way these people drive, and I'm sure it's mostly young people, and I'm just guessing. Because young people can be very sneaky. I know I was when I was younger. If they told me not to do something, I wanted to do it so badly anyway. So if they tell you not to cheat, what do young people do? Oh, they go and find a way to cheat. They write codes, they write scripts. Next thing you know, you got a bot controlling your game with horrible ads, trying to break your phone and, and steal your bank information. <laughs> oh my God. But anyway, um, they're waiting for other players. Okay, good track to you up. So just watch out this this is going up. This is really good. I just went right through that car. Did you all see that? And uh, here we go. I can get over here. To now, if that guy landed on top of my car, I'd be in a world of hurt. And multiplayer is very hard. I've done 
I, the most I've ever done is fourth place. And right now I'm in fourth place. Doesn't mean I'm going to get it. Because there's three or four more cars behind me. And they're not happy. See what I mean? You just tore my car to pieces. I don't like that. That's just cruel, man. I can't tear your car to pieces. Why would you do that to me, man? You can't drive without tearing other people's cars up? I'm still in fourth place. Well, I, I could have did better than that. If they had just left my little car alone. I didn't mess up my Chevy Camaro like that. What's wrong with me? You need anger management, buddy. They are long gone. So they're drifting to get my uh, nitrous up. And here we go. Too late. Fourth place. But that was a prime example of how brutal multiplayer can be. And that was one of the things that frustrated me um, the last few times I played the game and deleted it out of anger. And one of the other things that they'll do is, in multiplayer particularly, you will they will force your car into a wall. When you clearly um, can stop something like that and you wind up... Uh, in a wall. Just, you know, right into a, a brick, solid brick wall. But now the graphics aren't too bad. I, I, I can't say that. But, uh, my car took a beating just now. I got him back. Or was that the same car that hit me? Hopefully it was, but look at the 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 detail and the uh, effects. They're trying to make it seem like there's dirt on my tire because there's a portion of this race where you go over dirt road uh, and some of the other races also, but it looks like snow on my tires, but the angle the camera angles and the the level of detail is not too bad i just i think the gameplay could have been a lot better especially when you're driving in the rain is is there i'm i'm if i remember correctly there is particular races that you drive in the you race in the rain i think that's pretty cool i like driving in harsh weather conditions and I, I do know that there's snow and ice, sheets of ice that you have to go over. And that is just way too cool. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is not too bad. This is kind of like Need for Speed Underground from back in the day, part one and two. Probably, prob mostly likely one, uh, part two. I would say part two. But on steroids. Um, that right there with the the effects from hitting nitrous, I, I think is a little too fictitious. They they could have, or they could have done something else to exemplify hitting your nitrous a little bit better than that. But I, just that one scene where I get my tar my car torn apart, it's just horrible. Why would you? I don't like that. I, I I don't like that. That's just wrong on so many levels. And see, I'm somewhat of a car enthusiast. I love exotic cars and classic muscle American muscle cars. So, and I like cars. Period. I really do. You know, uh, along with the the level of gameplay as a gamer, I told you I like before. Uh, when it comes to cars, 
I'm very particular. And I don't like being limited to a track. I like being in an open world where I can race on a track or on the streets. And even if they did a controlled environment on the streets, that's okay. But I like that feeling of being able to jump on and off the expressway and race through the city streets, making a mess. Yeah. And uh, but usually when they jump that ramp like that, they're aiming for other cars. And that's how I got caught that one time. Uh, not that one time. It's happened to me in, on different occasions in different races. And it's enough to piss you off, especially if your race is going good. And you just happen to make second or first place in multiplayer, which is very hard to do. And then that happens. So let's get back to it. Um... Let's go to another race. I think they're going to want me to watch. No, they don't want me to watch a video this time. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, oh, I got 125 grand for that. Right? Where's the money? Give me my money, dude. What do you do with my 125K? Are you serious right now? I'm out. You're not going to give me my money? I'm not going to race in your multiplayer. That's, that's, that's how I feel about that. Did you see that? They just kept my $125,000. How are you going to assume that I want to keep doing multiplayer after that crap I just experienced? And then you keep my money. Am I going to get it two, three days later or something? What is this? Anyway, let's try events. I just want to show you how mean the computer cars can be too, people. Um, you think you got a fast car. You, you do all your upgrades and everything like you're supposed to. Spending all your little money. And things still go terribly wrong. Okay. Uh, let's try to have some fun. All right, let's, let's see what's here. Then we're going to drift some more. And then we're going to hit nitrous again. Got to get that checkpoint, right? All right, here we go. Oh, I'm going to run. I'm going to finish the race. Let's see if I did everything I was supposed to do. Sorry about that, people. The number I don't recognize. I do not like answering the phone when I see numbers I don't recognize. But, um, still going. How many, uh, refill? Oh, we got two left. Uh, we got fuel, uh, uh, uh refuel. Re what do they call it? Refill? We got two refills left, so let's use that. Limited time event. That was one event. I didn't do too bad on that event. I, I, why am I doing it again? Why am I doing this again? Drifting. And here we go. Alright, now yeah, we got some, uh, hit a nitrous ball, and let's do that nitrous, baby. Hit that nitrous ball, and we're full. Let's go. And can we get a faster time than the last one? The last one was, uh, I don't know what the last one was. Will they show us a comparison? Oh, you have to do three of these. But why on the same track? That's just weird to me. You're forcing me to ride on the same track. Wow, 
Wow, you have a long way to go to get that Nissan. And uh, that uh, Chrysler Challenger, Dodge Challenger, rather. Okay, that's a Ferrari up there. Yes, it is. The FXXK. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, when I first got hip to exotic cars back in the late 80s, my first, the one I fell in love with first was the Ferrari F40. That was the last car Enzo made just before he died. And I thought that was a phenomenal car. What I didn't know and I learned later on in life was that the Enzo Ferrari was a stripped down version of one of their race cars. Now, today they make exotic cars with highly sophisticated advanced technologies and electronics. And back then the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis were not designed to drive on snowy, uh, icy terrain. But the technology is so good now with uh, driver assist and, and, you know, ABS brakes and uh, all that good stuff um, that you can now drive your car uh, in the snow. So you can literally run out and buy a $3 million, $4 million Bugatti. And it, because of the technology, as well as the uh, engineering they put into it, you can drive it in the snow. I got a faster time on this one. Oh, man. Let's see what kind of progress we've made. That's three of three on those. And uh, let's see what that gets us. But... Uh, Long story short, um, today's exotic cars versus the exotic cars back when I was a young man in the 80s are much better built. Uh, they have loads of technology and capabilities um, unlike they had back then. Back then they had, uh, they were limited to rear wheel drive. And they just, and if they had all-wheel drive, like Porsche, the, the Porsche 959, that was a $2 million car back then. And they just weren't meant to drive on, in snowy terrain and, 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 and icy pavement. Uh, yeah, but now you can do all of that. And um, they got little travel cases you, that, that look pretty cool that you can put on top of your two-seater exotic. And if you got the money to run out and buy one. And uh, they're, they're, from what I understand, they're quite enjoyable at, that, at the prices they, you know, you spend for them. So. But uh, they, they can go as high as uh, 40, 50 million, some of those Ferraris and... Uh, Bugatti just came out with uh, a new version of the Atlantic um, from back in the day. Etor Bugatti made the um, the original four Ad Atlantics, and each one of them was signature for its owner. Uh, they had something distinct about them for the owners of those cars. And Enzo kept one for himself. They, they, they thought it was such a work of art. But the, this particular Atlantic that they built recently was built for a particular uh, millionaire or billionaire, and he uh, he went out and uh, had something specifically done to the vehicle that made it distinct to him, just like. Uh, uh, Etor Bugatti did in the past, and it drove the price up to nineteen million dollars, just under twenty million dollars for a single purchase of a brand new exotic automobile. If that was me, I'm sorry, I, I'm not driving that car. If I if I just felt the need 
to run out and blow twenty million dollars if I had it on a car. I'm not gonna drive that car up and down the streets. If I needed to drive it, I would have to take it to a track. And I'm not a big fan of doing that, but I would do that for that particular car. Um, you, you void your insurance policy if you're caught in a Walmart parking lot in that car. Any one of those exotic cars. If you go to Walmart or the supermarket, if you take that chance in that car, you void the insurance claim. You won't be able to claim that car on insurance. Uh, check this out, a Black Friday race. Let's do that. If anybody is familiar with that, leave your comments in the comment section below. I was very shocked to know that if you as the owner of a multi-million dollar car have limitations on you from your insurance company as to where you can and cannot drive that car. Isn't that something? When the event time runs out, rewards will be obtained based on your final leaderboard position. Only rewards in your position will be awarded. The higher the position, the better the rewards. I got 150k. Wow. Okay. Let's make this money, y'all. But uh, can you believe that, people? Um, you have insurance companies telling you where you can where you can and cannot drive your car and you're the millionaire who spent the money and bought the car isn't that something i can't drive that car let's get out of here i have to pick another car uh just like this game right here you see i, I have certain cars i can't drive right now and um yeah it's the same way as a, as a multi-million dollar exotic car owner. Your insurance company is going to tell you where you can and cannot drive your car. And if you try to drive your car in a place that they feel like it should not be, your insurance company may not cover your claim if there is one. And what usually happens in a supermarket parking lot such as Walmart or Kroger in the Northeast and Midwest and and uh, HEB down south where I'm here at, where I'm at right now any one of these supermarkets what usually happens when you take your your domestic car to those parking lots you got killer shopping carts you got crazy customers who don't know how to bag up or uh, park correctly in their vehicles and they want to trash your vehicles and your vehicle and get out and act like it didn't happen and it wasn't them or move their car away from your car so it doesn't look like they hit you and let someone else and let some other poor sap take the blame um, especially Texas Texas LA New York, Boston, worst drivers in history. And Texas has, has them all beat. I've been to all these places. And they're, they're, the drivers are horrible. But in Texas, oh my God, they got the worst drivers I've ever seen. And they intend to do you bodily harm. They really do. What's this here? Another commercial? An unauthorized commercial. Why does that young lady's face look like that? What do they do to that baby? Man, upset that young lady like that. Why is her face all balled up like that? I don't have access to any of the other... Co oh. Okay, this is the Camaro that everybody likes, the ZL1. I don't like that body kit. I really don't like that body kit. Uh, I like the, body, the, the, the plain body kit on the black one, whereas if they would do a ZL1 like that and just let you decide what you wanna do as far as 
even having a body kit because this is forced on you. I don't like that. You have to, I think you should decide what you uh, want to put on your car. And these cars aren't cheap anymore. They're, they're upwards of $100,000 with all these, uh, this focus on horsepower and, and uh, specific looks and distinct looks and what have you. And technology packages uh, they're trying to compete with the exotic car market a lot of these young youtubers are making millions if I'm pretty sure a lot of you know that and they're running there's videos of these young people 16 17 uh, running out with designer clothes on buying expensive Bentleys and Ferraris and Lamborghinis or whatever and they're just driving around in like a car club group or whatever, like a small convoy. Um, just, you know, bragging about what they've done, literally. And, uh, wow. Okay, it looks like we're all done here. Um, I can't, I don't have a car. Oh, she, uh, she's vaping can put microscopic metal particles into your lungs. Wow. I'm not a smoker, guys. If you smoke, let that be a warning to you. Um, what do you guys think I should do? Should I go multiplayer or again? If I can even drive my car. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm out of gas. I can drive the uh, blue one. But I only got 11 grand left. What happened to the 47? Oh, I, I brought some more stuff for the Camaro. I remember now. But I can't drive it. I, I, I don't think I I want to put myself through that agony of driving that little Mitsubishi Limited to such a degree in your gameplay. I, I noticed... All of them do this. Your your Gran Turismo's, your Need for Speeds. They put a lot of limitations on you, and they force you to drive certain cars to start the game. And I and I just not a big fan of that. I think um, it would be better if the only limitations you have is how much money you have. And there should be missions, there should be missions you can go on, and there should be sponsors you can accumulate to gain the monetary notoriety you need to buy the cars you want, depending on how much the sponsors are willing to spend on you, and depending on how much the missions are that allow you to buy the cars you want. The more missions you do, or you can physically walk around and, you know, um, do missions and stuff and uh, earn your 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 cars you want that way but when I see games like this um, it's very frustrating to me to be forced to drive something I wouldn't spend a red penny on I I hate Mitsubishi I would not buy anything by Mitsubishi so why would you even put that that car is in the niece for speed genre it is in most of the car genres as a starter car. Why are you making people drive these rinky-dink cars on these expensive games? And uh, when you can clearly in this late day and age come up with new concepts for people to earn money so they can buy the cars they want. Uh, this would save. I think this would save a lot of people the trouble of wanting to cheat. If you can start out with a way to to get the cars you want to drive, that that would be I think that would that would make all the difference in the world. But that's just me. But uh, I'm gonna end this video here, guys. Once again, thank you for joining me. If you did on my live stream, and uh, peace out. See you next time.